2007 was the first time I physically met Tania Dalton. I'd admired her netballing prowess before when she played for the Silver Ferns, but in 2007 I became part of the Sky netball commentary team of which Tania was part of. This was to cover the World Cup. And through that time I have so much admiration, especially in that opening year, Tania was heavily pregnant with her third child, Matty, her husband, Dwayne, and who had started their new business venture, Pit a Pit, and here she was coming out and helping us in the commentary. Those stress levels must have gone through the roof for her, but every day she came in with a smile in through that door, and she gave us commentary gold. And I'm telling you, the highlights package at Sky TV are dominated by Tania Dalton beauties. But apart from that, over the last 10 years, what I have come to admire she was so proud of her children and spoke about all the work that they were doing in their sporting endeavours and how much she was coaching them and helping them along. But it's the people all around the country, from the north of New Zealand to the south, who whenever they saw Tania, their eyes lit up and she would always give them a smile or we would go to a pit pit franchise and have lunch somewhere and you could just see the huge amount of respect and fun that she exuded in this character. She was such a special person who didn't judge but went through life being a giver and I think that is going to be such a massive hole to fill not just in the netballing circles but in all the communities that Tani was a part of and I'm all the better for having met her. She was one of life's greats.